today we'll start by cutting the blank for the great wheel on a Tormach. So as you can see, we've taken the file, created a drawing, a model in Fusion 360, and also created the uh, necessary tool paths. So we'll get this thing mounted in the Tormac and get cutting. So the first thing we'll do, we'll set our origin by using the probe on the Tormach. So the G-code's been imported from Fusion 360 to the Tormach. We've got all the G-code in. You can see what the tool profiles are gonna look like. It's gonna be quite a long operation, so we'll get cutting. So it's cleaned up pretty well. What we've got to do next is the barrel actually goes in a recess on the back of this part. So we've got to locate it and cut that channel in the back. And once we do that, then we'll be ready to put the, uh, to cut the, the teeth. So I've got the part in the vise, as you can see, I've cut some soft jaws so we can adequately hold this part as we flip it over and we get ready to cut that slot. So we'll have a go. So here we want to see how the part fits because we've got this slot in place and make sure that we've got a good fit when it's going to be permanently attached. And that feels great. It's basically almost a press fit. You know, it goes in there perfectly. So we're set on that operation. So we've got the piece mounted now on a mandrel got it mounted on our fourth axis in the Tormach and I've got it running pretty pretty true. It takes a while to get there. Another nice feature of the Tormach is with the probe you can find the center of the uh, A axis so we'll give it a go and you got to watch it carefully. We've got everything set up as you can see I've got a cutter in place on a mandrel I put die cam around the edge so then we can see if the teeth were properly depth when we do the cutting. What we're going to do here is we're going to cut 130 teeth of a 0.8 module cutter. And these are PP Thornton cutters uh, that should do the job. So we'll get started. So we're not getting deep enough. We're gonna to have to change the program a little bit, come in a little deeper and try it again. Okay, it looks perfect, we'll let it go.
Okay, so we've got the wheel cleaned up. You can see it came out uh, very nice. I also tapped the uh, 172 holes, which is a little nerve wracking because the last thing you want to do is uh, snap a tap off after doing all this work. But that's it. That's cutting a uh, great wheel on a Tormac. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe. Thanks everybody.